Okay, record. So, I'll share my screen. Uh, this one. Sure. Okay. Can you guys see my ads manager? Yes. Cool. Okay, so I, like I was just telling Laura, I was going to clean up all, because I have 111 campaigns. Like, I've done a lot of testing, and they're all under separate campaigns. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. But then I was like, I don't want to lose the information, so I exported um, all the information to an Excel file. Mm -hmm. So, like, under reports, and then uh, export data table, and then uh, export as X, or, yeah, as XLS. So I just export it as an Excel file. So if you don't want to lose your information, that's what I did, and then it just comes up as an Excel page. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I, now I'm going to delete all of my posts that are inactive or completed. Like, <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> so I started this campaign on, when was it? Thursday? No, Thursday night? Friday night? Summer? I can't remember. No, Monday night. I started this campaign on Monday night, yeah. And... So if you click on it, eventually, there we go. So this is the video that I did for like the, the short term sacrifice for long term game video. And I've separated my, my ages out 25 to 44 and 45 to 64. Um, and then, so he said that once you want to, do you want me to create another campaign? So you see how I've seen how I did it? Like Could a whole you? That'd be awesome. Let's see. Cause then that would just basically, he would just be showing you what he showed you. So that's ridiculous. So I'm going to create campaign name. So this will be meme boosts. And my campaign objective will be that one was video views. So when you create a new campaign for your value video boosts, you create it for video views. But this one will be post engagement because it's memes. That, does that make sense? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So creating a new ad set so which meme do I want to boost mm. create your own destiny I did what did I do 20 I can't remember my ages now. <laughs> oh, your numbers? Oh, I just wrote it down. 25 to 44 and 45 to 65. Okay. Thank you. Can I get him? Yeah, go okay. get him. I don't think I can reach him. Okay, just give me a minute, child. Okay, so let me save it. So then you go under here. So this is the ad set is where I'm at right now. And my daily budget is not going to be $11. <laughs> it will be $1. He does $2.50 per ad set um, daily, but I'm just like not... So I'll use a saved audience. I've got women 25 to 44 already saved Canada, US, Australia, UK. And he edits the placements. Obviously it's not gonna be a video. Uh, no Instagram, because he says to keep, if you wanna boost to Instagram specifically, create a whole different ad set specifically for Instagram. And 
Uh, for post engagement, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then. Did you do suggested? Pardon? Did you check off suggested videos on that? This isn't a video. But when you do your value video boost post, you will do the video specifically. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it is checked. It'll probably uncheck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because in stream video, that. I'll just didn't save. Mm -hmm. So now here's where I find my existing post. This one. So this is the post I did yesterday. And I never add a button. I don't, he says he doesn't add them either, but I know people that like to add buttons. I think it's kind of based on your own discretion if you want to add a button. So a call to action button message or learn more or whatever with your link. That's pretty much. And then request manual. Why are you, hmm? why are you boosting it? Are you just trying to get engagement? Yeah, you're just trying to get engagement. Yeah, we use the memes to to um yeah. to get page likes and get engagement on your page, right? So you wouldn't so, want a button on that anyway. No. No. So um so yeah, this ads reach may be lower just because of the text and the image because it's got writing in it. See? <laughs> it's not much writing, but there's some writing. Uh -huh. So you're going to request a manual review if this comes up, whether it's a video or a meme. And then publish. Published. Okay, so then go back to the ad set part and then duplicate. And here's where you change your age. Okay. In your duplication. So I'll use my other saved audience, 45 to 64. And I'll change my... So, um... Yep. Um, so when you duplicate it, which one is which? The top or bottom there is your new one. It says copy. Oh, so the copy will be your one that you're duplicating. So that's the one. So you could just, all you have to do is just change the age. Mm -hmm. and Cause it'll be the it same, out from post, there. same everything else. And so now I just changed my age. Like I changed my audience that I had saved already. Where is it? Saved audience. Okay. I changed it. So it's this. That's my saved so audience. So now I have a question. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense to me. Makes um, sense. When he's talking about making new ads instead of having a whole bunch, mm -hmm. that's where it kind of confused me, though, when he was running it. So he's, he's saying duplicate, too, but he's just actually changing it, his whole ad. He is what he was doing when he wanted to. So he what he wanted you to do was check both and duplicate up here, up here at this level. Okay. So I would duplicate that and then duplicate that. So then you've got your originals down here and then their copies yeah. are here. So what you would do <clears throat> is Click on the 25 to 44 one. So you're not going to change anything on the ad set level. You're just going to change the set except for, oh, you'll change the, the name to the new, to the right. new name. So just to differentiate your videos, right? Or your memes or whatever post you're going to use, you're going to have a name for it. Oh. Okay. So See, it I understand it when you say it. 
<laughs> so you're gonna change it to something else. So like you had a different meme, like I don't know, mindset. And then you get rid of this copy. So you change it there and then you leave this because your audience is still the same, right? Your placements are still the yeah. same. Because it's in your post engagement still the same because this is a meme one. Uh, for the value video ones, you're, you're looking for video views, right? So all that's still the same. And then you go down to the actual ad. And then this is where you change your ad name here. And then mm -hmm. you change your post to something else. Uh, okay, I get it. I get it. So like, <laughs> Laura, do you get it? Um, I'm not quite sure what you're that last part you were doing. Which part? You're to, is that when you're just taking your original post to boost it? And so you're making a copy of it. You're duplicating it. Is that what you're, you're just duplicating your settings and then changing your post. You're so you're changing your post. So you're changing the name of your post and the name of your ad set and your post. So the, your audience the settings are the same. Your placement settings are the same. Everything else is the same except for your post and the, the name, essentially. Does that make sense? No. Well, not like, make, is this just for creating the two age ranges? Is that what you're doing? Yes. I got lost along the way here somewhere. You don't have to split up your age ranges if you don't want to. You can just leave it open if you want. No, yeah. Okay, I'm just, I guess I got lost in what you're duplicating. What are you duplicating right now? I was. <laughs> I thought I was swallowing until the last yeah. part. So I'm going to delete. Wait, that's it. So what I was doing here is that no, these are the, okay. pardon? Do you see what I'm duplicating here, these two? Like the create your own when they, Those are the ads that you already did and you're going to yeah. duplicate them? You're going to duplicate them okay. just for the settings and the, like your audience and your placements. And then you're just going to change your post name, like your, pay, your name of your ad and ad set and your post. Okay. So you'll change it to a different post because you don't want to do the same post to the same audience twice. You're competing against yourself. No. Okay, and then you're going to post the new one that you just made with the new name on it. You're yeah. going to boost that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's how you basically <laughs> boost in the back office. Yeah, yeah, so that way, that way, Laura, like Tyler was explaining, then you won't have to keep going back and choose the age range and choose all the stuff that's already there. You're just you're just, you're duplicating it, but you're just going to actually change it into a new post, but everything's already there for you. So you don't have to click off a bunch of stuff and then kind of like keeps things a little smaller and, and, and then you don't have all, you know, all if you, campaigns. <laughs> if, if you boosted the original post, you'd only be boosting it to people that saw it already. Is that right? No. No, you boost it to your audience. Only so whoever's in your audience so if you oh, want to stick to yeah, canada right. female ages 20 to 25 that's all who see it yeah it, and he doesn't choose a like a target like an interest target he keeps that open so but that's up to you yeah like everything he says every, everything's testing right and everybody's different yeah that's the brilliant thing about this business is that everybody, everybody's different because they each have a different niche. So, yeah. And you know what? It's yeah. funny. Cause, um, I don't, I, I have tried it, but I don't actually target nurses in my ad, but my ad talks about being a nurse and I get so many nurses that still message me. It's almost like, because that's in there, Facebook mm -hmm. is still showing it to nurses. It's a good possibility. Even though I'm not actually targeting. 
Yeah. Yeah. When I, because I, one of my, well, my pillar video, my three minute pillar video talks about how Cordell got gassed by H2X. And so on my title, it says when my husband got gassed by, or knocked down by H2S, I had to do something or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it says, but I've been getting some mm -hmm. like oil field women. So, and it's, mm -hmm. it says H2S and gas and I don't know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, who knows what Facebook does it's all over the place. Well, well they know everything. You, Pam, I appreciate that. Um, is there anything else you want me to cover while I got you on? That's where I was lost. That's where my husband was lost too. So I'll be able to show him that. And cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll be Once good. Once I get this video, I'll probably stick it on YouTube, and then I'll just share the link. What? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Somebody has to go to bed soon. But. Um, yeah, definitely let me know if you have any other problems, but I'll, uh, I'll throw this video on, on YouTube and you guys can check it out there. Sweet. Um, yeah. I haven't done my ad. I didn't, I didn't write anything yet. What was, did we decide have it done by tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow for like noon or something ish. Okay. I'll have it done. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Wait.